AB 1597 requires the divestment of Turkish bonds by CalPERS and CalSTRS and further prohibits both boards from investing in any investment vehicle issued by, owned, controlled, or managed by the government of Turkey. However, this bill specifically provides that none of its provisions shall compel the boards to do anything inconsistent with their fiduciary responsibilities prescribed in the California Constitution. Additionally, in an effort to address concerns of preempting the federal government, AB 1597 is contingent upon the passage of federal law imposing sanctions or taking some form of action against the Republic of Turkey. Republic of Turkey's unwillingness to recognize the genocide and their unrelenting campaign to deny the genocide continues to discriminate against Armenians, Greeks, Assyrians, and many other ethnic minorities who suffered at the hand of the Turkish Ottoman government. California's investment in Turkish government bonds indirectly subsidizes Turkish denial of the genocide. This bill continues California's commitment to act appropriately against countries that have a record of human rights violations and undermine democracy. With that, I ask for your I vote. Mr. Dubovny, you're recognized. I want to thank my colleague from the Sherman Oaks area for bringing this bill forward. Uh, this is a bill that I think reflects the values of our state and the values of this institution. Uh, when you look at the local news for the last couple of months of the situation going on in Turkey, uh, the human rights violations are shocking. Uh, when you look at this government's treatment of its own people, its denial of history, and even just this past week in our nation's capital, paid thugs belonging to the president of Turkey, Mr. Erdogan, beating American citizens who are exercising their right to protest, it's shocking that our country hasn't done more to eliminate these close business relationships and financial ties to a dictatorship. This is not a friend, nor this is an ally. So I want to once again applaud my colleague from the San Fernando Valley, and I urge a strong I vote to make sure that we're supporting not only human rights, but the values of our state and how we invest our state's resources. Thank you. Mr. Holden, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would also join in congratulating and recognizing our colleague from San Fernando Valley for his consistent and tireless dedicated service on this issue. AB 1597 requires the divestment of Turkish bonds by CalPERS and CalSTRS due to the Turkish government's refusal to recognize the Armenian genocide. Promoting policies that refuse to acknowledge the genocide can no longer be tolerated. Currently, CalPERS and CalSTRS have several million dollars in investment holdings in Turkish bonds. Earlier this year, we voted to recognize the Armenian genocide. This bill continues California's commitment to acknowledge an injustice and protect the integrity of all people, no matter the culture, race, or religion. This bill asks us to confirm California's principles of being socially just with all actions and making a difference where one can. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Assemblymember Friedman, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. I rise to urge an I vote for 1597. You know, every year this assembly, for many years, has, has passed resolutions to urge our own government to acknowledge the genocide and Turkey as well. Well, it's time for us to put some teeth behind those resolutions. I thank my colleague from Sherman Oaks for bringing this forward to really show that we care enough about the truth and about justice for those victims to put our money where our mouth is. And that's what this measure will do. You may ask, why do we care about an event that happened over 100 years ago? Well, for those families who are living in the shadow of the genocide, that denial, that continual denial, robs them of any sense of justice for those victims, for those dead family members, for the legacy of diaspora that spread a people across the globe, that's taken so much away from the Armenian people. That denial keeps that wound open. Well, this is one way that California can help push Turkey to finally admit 
what happened over 100 years ago to finally bring a little measure of closure for the victims of the Armenian Genocide. It's very important for California to take this step and to really lead the rest of the country forward with this keeping the, with keeping the pressure on Turkey and escalating that and helping them to see that doing the right thing would ultimately be in their best interest as well. I urge an I vote. Thank you. Mr. Levine, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. I rise in support of AB 1597. I thank the author for bringing this forward. California must no longer invest in countries that are genocide deniers. For far too long, Turkey has engaged in denial, misleading the world about its role in uh, the extermination of the Armenian people in their homeland. This bill sends a strong message, uh, and I recommend an I vote. Thank you. Mr. Bonte, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker and colleagues. I rise in support of AB 1597 and really appreciate the author's uh, work on this bill. It's been a, a multiple year effort. I was proud to be able to work with him on a prior version of the bill when I was chair of the Assembly Purse Committee and appreciate his ongoing efforts and continued work on this bill. Two items that I think are really important to note. Um, nothing in this bill requires CalPERS or CalSTRS to take action unless the boards determine in good faith that the actions are consistent with their fiduciary responsibilities as set forth in the California Constitution. That's very important and that's there in the bill. In addition, the boards of CalPERS and CalSTRS will um, they need to wait for the passage of federal law imposing sanctions on Turkey, which makes it consistent with uh, federal law. So I appreciate that this bill confirms California's value-driven principle of socially responsible investing. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Seeing and hearing no further discussion or debate, Mr. Nazarian, would you like to close? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just want to take a brief moment and say thank you to all of the colleagues, whether the former chair of CalPERS or the current chair of CalPERS uh, have helped guide this bill over the course of the last three years. So I want to say thank you to all of my colleagues who have joined me in this effort, whether from Huntington Beach or from my neighboring uh, districts in San Fernando Valley and Los Angeles. Um, I very much want to also say thank you to all of those the organizations who have supported this bill. Um, uh, you learn along the process of what can work. And so whether it's been uh, support or even concerns, they've helped shape this bill forward. Last but not least, wanted to thank the speaker uh, who recognizes the importance of this bill. And whether injustice was done two days ago, two years ago, or 102 years ago, was committed to making sure that this moves forward. Thank you very much, and I respectfully ask for I vote. The clerk will open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll, tally the votes I-61-0. No the measure passes.